Hello everybody and welcome back to Competitive Multiplayer. This is the final episode of Competitive Multiplayer on FS19. So what we need to do is make as much money as possible before 7.30 tonight because at 7.30 tonight it's going to move on to the next day and then in the next day we're going to be selling everything. Chainsaw will have to sell at the same time to make it fair uh, which means we do have some time now to really take advantage of those trees which I mentioned in the previous episode. The new field which we purchased has some trees. We might as well cut them down, take them to the sawmill, get them processed into lumber and yeah we'll uh, boost the bank account. But first I do have some soy drink to load up. I should have a rear weight somewhere, I think it's over here. Yes, yeah, so if we get this soy drink sold uh, then we can make some money and then we can continue on to where the trees are. And for this series we can use super strength to load up the logs. Uh, initially that was not allowed, uh, but since in one of the episodes I left super strength switched on, Chainsaw managed to load up a whole load, in fact several loads, uh, using super strength. So yeah, now we've just got rid of the rule and it is allowed. So I'm going to load them all up, except for that one which is it just appeared, basically one little barrel on there. The biodiesel is going to be going as well, because it might as well, it's not going to be used. So I'll continue on doing this and then we'll head off to the supermarket. Yes, it's probably just going to be easier to put on top. Didn't really want to take it, but otherwise it means trying to get behind, getting the other pallet out. So, there we go. I could have made that so much easier by putting the trailer in a better spot, although it looks like it probably has slid away. <laughs> That's not exactly where I left it. The field does slope away there. Okay. So. Whoop. Steady, steady. Ah, there we go. That could have ended much worse. Right. A few straps. Let's go make some money. So I don't know how much more is going to be created. Uh, I suppose overnight there'll be quite a bit, but we are, we are supposed to be selling all of our stuff in the morning. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Well, that's kind of annoying. The price is far better for biodiesel over the port and it's better for the drink, the soy drink over here. So I'm just going to have to try and slide the biodiesel to the back and not sell it. It'll probably unintentionally sell. Just need to go steady otherwise I might go straight through the trigger and sell everything instantly. Where's the trigger? Somewhere here. Although, they might be too high. Oh no, it's definitely selling something. Please don't be the biodiesel. Come here, biodiesel. I'll have to pop that on there later. Okay, so things are selling. I am just going to assist it because it does take a bit of time. We do have to be at the correct level. Yes, yeah, it's very good. the sell point. Still got a few more. We're going to hit 200,000. There we go. And finally, we have this one. It's worth a lot of money. Right, so now I need to get out of the sell point and put that on the back. I suppose what I could do is I could go back out onto the road The soy drink is worth a substantial amount of money. Just takes time. Takes biodiesel. Okay. 
So I'm going to head over to the port and we'll see how much money we can make from this. Again, we're going to have to go a bit lower probably. Oh, some of it's old. Not bad at all. In fact, very good. So, on to our forest field, and as you can see, this side has ripened, crikey. Uh, in that case, since, yeah, it's going to mean getting another combine harvester. That'd be another £7,600. Uh, we probably would profit on that, but I think really my focus is going to have to be on these trees. Um, because there's no expenses, guaranteed income, guaranteed profit. Uh, so yeah, bit of a shame, but we don't need to touch that. So I own all of this, and I haven't really been over here. It's a nice shed. I wish I could have used it. I've only just acquired this field. Um, but yeah, anything, you can see I own this whole section all the way to the road. So all these trees. Um, we're probably not going to have time to cut them all down, but I can definitely cut a few down. But it's good timber. And it used to be a good trailer, but <laughs> that's just been crushed. Uh, right, it is very good timber, actually. Really thick wood. So I need to cut this up into manageable sized chunks. Okay, and I will be time lapsing a fair amount of this. But let's just get the first one on. I think the approach I'm going to take, because of the way I've done this before, is to put all the big chunky bits on and then these little thinner parts I put on at the end because otherwise you get a very uneven trailer makes it very hard to transport even more difficult to load up uh, so yeah if I put that right to the edge I can sort of be the uh, support so that we don't lose them over the side and now do the same for this side, if I can do. It's like a little barrier. Okay, that's good. Strap them together. And yeah, we don't we don't really want to go any longer than this because it's just going to make it so much harder to uh, load up and transport. So yeah, we have another tree. And then we'll have another tree. And every single one seems to fall on the trailer because that's the way I guide it. <laughs> oh dear. Although that one did kind of clear the trailer. Cut the spindly bit off for the end, and then cut this big chunk in half. Simple. And then hopefully we'll have a really full trailer full of very heavy wood to take to the sawmill. And I'm going to really make an effort here with the neatness. I really hope it's going to be nice and tidy. It's not always the easiest thing to do but I'll try my best. Right, well the, the usual thing has happened, you get so far and then they start to tumble off. I do strap as I go, but the thing is, for some reason sometimes you accidentally strap another one and then you've got to unstrap and then some come tumbling down and it all gets messed up. It was going well, hopefully you could see in the time lapse there, but it's sort of beyond the stage now of looking good. So I'm just going to have to get as much onto here as possible, all these 
tips of trees. Hopefully I can take everything in one go. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, empty this first trail load. What else do we have? I think there might be something lurking back here. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure I did have... Ah, yes, here it is. Try to squeeze that on as well. There might actually be another piece as well as this. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just go back to where I was. It's somewhere over here. There it is. The part which I like to call the pencil. <laughs> it's got a tapered point. Oh, this one has a furry tapered point. It still has all of its foliage. Right, oh. How are we looking? Is that good? Doesn't look good, but. Yep. Just gonna have to watch the traffic. Okay, so. Even when it was starting to look really good, it actually isn't great. Um, but that is a good load, despite what it looks like. So let's make our way over to the cell point. See how much I can make from this. And obviously it's just a really small amount of what we actually have. This is the tip of the iceberg. So, um, yeah, the sawmill is there. Turn left on the second left. Doesn't get much more simple than that. Just don't want to hit any cars. Cars could cause a serious issue. Here we are. I can't go flat out because otherwise I'm going to flip it. I've already had it on two wheels. But that log there is acting as a stabiliser for when it goes up on that side. Right. Okay, so we're going to have to press the button. Just put it here. Right, so what we're thinking, I'm going to say £15,000. Ooh, that's not even sold at all. That was 21,884. Right, let's see if we can get the rest of it. No, for some reason. Uh, if I just back up and then come back in again. Or maybe I'm a bit too far over to the right. Yeah, if I swing round. That must be right in it. Okay, interesting. Right, so that did sell something. I think I'm completely out of the trigger then. It must be... Well, maybe it's over there. Let's see what I can sell this time. Yeah, it's over here. Anyway, way over £30,000. So I got that very wrong, but luckily in the right direction. Yeah, next time if I park right over there we'll be fine. But since that price is so good, without a doubt I'm going to be doing another load. And yeah, this is definitely better than doing the harvesting. Right, okay. We'll head back and get some more big trees. Make as much money as possible before it's time to move on. Looking good, once again. 
So I don't think Chainsaw's going to be ready uh, for 7.30. He has redrilled that field though. He's in film 31, he says 35. Uh, of course though we can't we can't wait forever so he just needs to harvest as much as possible. Make as much money as possible. That will probably change the time that we have to start selling from tonight to 9am. Have to confirm it with Chainsaw. This is a good tree. And yeah, not only will he be able to sell some more grain, but I should be able to sell some more trees and some more soybeans or soy drink. So I'll just load this up and then we'll probably head off again. No! Is that on? I think so. Right, is that looking full? Uh, more on one side. So maybe I can get another tree into there. Go for one of these Scots pines, whatever these are. The pine family. They take a lot more cutting through. I wonder if they're worth more. Seems a much denser wood. I suppose it would be. Right, okay, so... Trim the end off. I think for this one we should go in half. It tends to be the longer the piece is, the, worse, the, the more it's worth, so... We don't want to be cutting it up unnecessarily. Not the greatest load to strap it to, but... It's on. Right, so it is almost 7.30. Whoops. It's going to be a very interesting day. The next day. Because that's when we find out who's won. And I really can't guess. I don't know. I, I really don't know who's doing better. I have more money in the bank account. Chainsaw might have more money in the assets. I don't know. Oh, look at that. No leasing fees. That makes a change. Yep, I have returned everything. It was on lease. Yes, that's very nice not to have any of those fees. Good, so we still have almost a quarter of a million pounds. Okay, so this time, going further over this way. Oh, it's all gone in one go. 30,000 pounds. Lovely. So I wonder how we're doing for soy drink. could just keep going with this. <laughs> Making some really good money. Why didn't I do this before? Right, well I think we'll come back for this later. I will do another load, just because it makes perfect sense to. But I would also like to get on top of the selling of the machinery. It is also depreciating, it's getting older. So yeah, I think it is time to start clearing up over there. We of course must also sell the soy drink before nine so we don't have we don't have loads and loads of time i guess the alternative would be just to actually shall we just fell a couple of trees not even cut them up i'll take the foliage off you see how well they transport because yeah as i said before the longer the tree i think the more money you tend to get let's go for some really good trees otherwise yeah if i if i drive from here and then back to here. A lot of time is spent just moving around. Should wrap things up. It's going to be silly though, isn't it? <laughs> Doing full trees. They're not even going to go down the road. Yes, in half is always the obvious way of doing it. The sensible way. But we'll try it. Just to see if we can get more money this way if I can even make it to the cell point. The first one is on. The second one is on. Uh, maybe we can get a few more on. Like five, possibly. Doesn't actually seem as long as I was expecting. But will we be able to make it down the road? 
down the uh, the sawmill road. That's quite narrow. Okay, that would do it. Look at that. Uh, it actually looks quite neat. But very dangerous, and for some reason it's trying to overtake me. Calm down back there. Yeah, I guess it's just lifting the front dolly up. Which it's not too happy about. But we should make it. Uh-oh. That's broken it. Whoa. It went through the rubble. Whoopsie. <laughs> For some reason, if you put the log through the rubble, it goes really laggy. I won't try that again. Here we are. Right, so what will it be? Do you think it's going to be more or less than 30,000? Because I think we probably did have about five trees before. I'm going to say more. Whoa, that's bad. Unless, of course, the price has just changed because I've been selling so much. Right, okay, I don't know. Then. Maybe, I, maybe I had more wood before. I really don't know. But still, that is another 13,000 to add to it. Let's get back to the farm. Get the soy drink loaded up. And then we're going to have to sell all the machines. Okay, and so sadly I'm going to have to sell the soy drink factory, despite still having some soybeans left in it, and biodiesel. Uh, but yeah, I can't really take advantage now because it's gone 9, and Chainsaw should be finishing. don't know if he's going to. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, let's just get that sold. I think what I have to do first of all is, let's just make sure of this. I think I have to... What do I do? I go over here. Should be a menu. There we go. £10,000 stock. So that needs to be sold. And then I can sell the placeable. So if we find it on here, there it is. £23,000. Could have been worse. Wow, that makes it very open. Uh, so we'll take this final load to whoever is best. Sale of pallets. Makes sense because, yeah, I sold to the supermarket, so demand has decreased. Uh, none of the other IBCs can be sold. So, it begins. I need to transport everything to the dealership for selling. I did take the header. I just had to put it onto the trailer because I couldn't get the drawbar out. I returned the combine without unfolding it. So, yeah, onto the back of the trailer it went. And it seemed to work very well. Should be quite good. Very good. Okay, that was another £14,796. It really is worth it, actually. Right, it is a shame we couldn't process the rest. There's probably about £50,000 wasted there. But, yeah, we've got to conclude the series, so it's just the way it is. Uh, right, so I think we might as well sell that other field, actually, because it's all done with. Field number 10. It's all ready to harvest, too. How annoying. But we did get a free cotton crop. £354,000 we can make. Another farmer from, can benefit from that. Uh, so we already have £698,000. I think the easiest way of doing this is just to load everything onto the trailer... As the header is here, we can get that repaired and sold. See if that is in the trigger. Yep. Oh, they're so expensive. 43,609. Chainsaw said he's having until 10 to do more harvesting. So that's not a problem, unless, of course, 
we are super close. If there's like a thousand pounds in it, <laughs> that's when it'll make a difference. Okay, uh, yeah, so everything that will fit on here is what we'll take now. IBCs, all these, no point even loading them up because I'm pretty sure you can't sell them. We'll find out at the end because if it's in my garage page, we can uh, potentially sell it. Bucket. Right, so see you when we are back over at the sell point. farm, just checking to see if I've got anything here. I do have an attachment. Otherwise, I think we're pretty much empty. I think it's all all gone. Yep, didn't see anything else. I'll just check this end barn. I did put a few things in there. We've got another pallet of fertilizer. Ah, uh, yeah, it's all gone. Right, so that is the only thing. That might fit to the John Deere on the way back. We'll see. But yeah, the priority is what we have here. So, first things first, we have the power harrow, 13,904. The trailer, 10,238. Not the tractor yet. Not yet. That will be coming soon. Uh, we, we need it to transport uh, the trailer, uh, the other trailer, and a few other things. Get down from there. Uh, next we have a bucket. Back over there. <laughs> uh, yes, I think it must be over here. 7,605. These weeders are quite expensive. 14,132. See you back over at the field. Ah, uh, yes, of course, we have the expensive fertilizer spreader water tanker and this trailer. I don't think any of these implements can tow another implement so we're just going to have to do a few trips. Uh, I think actually what I'll do is yeah, I'll throw the, because uh, the John Deere already has a pallet fork, I'll throw the, what was it, a log grab into that trailer when we get to it. Hopefully I can pick it up by hand. Clearly, uh, you can't pick up those. For some reason, the front loader tools are the only things you can't pick up with super strength. I'm not too sure why. No way. I could have, I could have repaired that. Although it actually, look, you can see that it was actually already very good condition. Uh, that's good. Trailer, and finally, the tractor. Fifty-one thousand seven hundred eight, and then the John Deere. It's going to have to bring back the other front loader attachment on the pallet fork and the water tanker. And I think we're pretty much done. Just have to sell this piece of land. I'm not too sure if Chainsaw of Stan is selling or not, but we should be able to see how much money he's got. He has 486,000 so far. He still has two of his fields. He has sold number four. Hope I can get this. Otherwise, we're just going to have to sell it from the garage page. Nice, very nice. Uh, so, these are our final things to sell. This tractor has done a, a serious amount of work for us, over ten hours. So it's not going to be worth that much anymore. We can repair it. 
It's going to cost a bit to repair. And our last time. Our last time going to the garage. Whoa! Our last very exciting time. I ran over my own front loader attachment. What could have transported like that too? As it turns out, there's many ways to transport it. Right. So. Pallet fork. Tractor. 8,647. Yeah, that was definitely worth the money. And 653 for the log fork. Front loader, 598. Tanker, 8,154. And rear weight or front weight, 688. So that concludes the machinery, but I do still have one more field. So, oh, and I have a chainsaw as well. Mustn't forget to sell that. 900,000. I think we started this series with 100,000, if I'm not mistaken, so already looking very good. Chainsaw is 500. And the land. Yep, old oh, chainsaw has sold everything but 31. 180,576. Which means I finish with 1,081,666. And I think, regardless of what chainsaw's got, whether it's better or worse, that's got to be a commendable figure. We started with next to nothing. Well, £100,000, but yeah playing competitively, I didn't think I'd get over a million. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Whether I win or lose, I'm very happy. So, what's changed? He says one more field. He is currently on 841,000. This is going to be so close. I would say he probably has won. Yeah, because he's still got the combine. But, as I said, very happy. I know that uh, one thing I'd do differently in the future is to buy a used, cheaper, higher horsepower tractor earlier on, instead of renting. Okay, he is on. 999. <laughs> right, and he starts the field, so yeah, he's won. Hang about, he's got all this biodiesel as well. Crikey. Actually, those factories did depreciate quite a lot. I had two of them. They were good though. I like doing different things. Adds diversity. Gives me time to explore the map too. Never been here before. Looks very nice. And then we have the port. Yeah, never been out here before. Container ship. Tugboat. Pretty sure that is the pedestrian entrance. I've been through there many times. But yeah, this is the, uh, the vehicle access. This is definitely for pedestrians. Incredibly, you can even get a traction trailer through there. Right, so his money is going to be going up again. Selling everything. All the biodiesel. So close. Ignore the shared account, by the way. That should be empty anyway. And there goes his tractor. The Baidu of the factory, which is about to disappear. There he goes. And I think then just his field. We should see on the minimap. Number 31 should uh, go back to white again. There we go. Right on cue. Which means that, that must be Everything sold, I'm guessing. Where is he? Somewhere. So, the finishing numbers. Okay, here he is. My farm. 1,081,666. His farm, 1,329,655. So, for a second time running, chance was one. Uh, the question is, though, because I know that the reason why I probably in behind is because of the renting would I have made that difference in money or have I spent that difference in money in renting hard to say anyway 
there we go. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a great series. And uh, yeah, until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.